Hey, what's up everybody? It's Luigi from Hidden Grills, and today we're doing another episode of Sneaker Drops. We have a lot of sneakers dropping in this May, so let's get right to it. So right from the beginning of the month, we already have some heat dropping, and I'm talking about the Travis Scott Air Max 270s. So these shoes are gonna drop on the sneakers app on May 1st, and they're priced at $170. So Travis Scott posted these shoes on his Instagram on March 20th and ever since then everybody's been talking about it. So as you guys know from previous Travis Scott um, sneaker releases, these shoes are definitely going to resell for a lot of money so be sure to wake up and get ready to cop. Next up we have the Jordan 5 Fire Reds releasing on May 2nd. So these shoes are going to be releasing on the sneakers app, finish line and foot locker and they're priced at $200. So these shoes have that 3M reflected material on the tongue at a silver colorway and they also embody that shark teeth fire red um, print on the side of the shoes which I think is a really nice design. So I've told you guys already that I have these shoes the 2013 release with the black tongue but these shoes are pretty nice with that gray tongue as well. So I might still have to cop these ones. And now for my favorite pairs releasing this month, the Jordan 1 Highs Game Royals. So these shoes have that white leather upper and it has hints of that Game Royal blue on the tongue, the ankle collar, and on the outsoles as well. These shoes are priced at $170 and they're releasing on the sneakers app on May 9th. So one thing about these shoes is that the blue color just really pops. And then because of that, like, and the fact that it's a Jordan 1, it's definitely a must cop and you need to have this in your collection. Okay, and now probably the only hype Adidas shoes releasing this month, the Quantum Yeezy basketball shoes. So these shoes are gonna retail for around $250 and they're releasing on May 15th. So these shoes are made of basically prime knit and neoprene. So that allows, that gives you the freedom to move around quickly while the shoe keeps its firmness. There's also reflective material all over the shoes and it has a milky white outsole. So that's a really nice touch in my opinion. These shoes first gained attention in the NBA All-Star Game this past, the early beginning of this year. And you saw that there was this video of Kanye just handing these shoes out to the public in exchange for the shoes off of the people's feet. So I thought that was really weird, but at the same time, like I see the point that he's trying to make. And you also saw basketball players like um, Brandon Ingram rocking these shoes during the actual All-Star Game. So that helped build the anticipation and it basically helped like let people know about these shoes. Okay, and now returning back to Jordan. So we have a Jordan 4 metallic pack releasing on May 16th for $190 each on the sneakers app. So they come in four different colorways. You have University Red, the Court Purples, Pine Greens, and a Team Orange. So those are the names of the different colors. And these shoes are all white, but then the little metal lace holders on the Jordan 4s are the ones that have the color as well as the lining on the tongue and the Jordan logo as well. So these shoes are basically perfect for the summer. You know, they have that chill vibes where it's just plain white and then you got little hints of color. So I think that it's a really nice shoe to have. Okay. Next, we have the Jordan 11 Lowe's in a white, red, and black colorway releasing on May 23rd for $185 on the sneakers app. So these shoes have a black um, mud guard with a red um, outer sole and the black is also in the logo and in the heel tab as well. Uh, me personally, I like Jordan 11s better in like the highs, not really the lows. So hopefully in the future, they release these, this colorway in the highs because those ones I would definitely go for. And to end off the month of May, we have shoes that throws us back all the way to the 1990s, the Jordan 13 Flints. So these shoes are releasing on May 30th for $190. Um, these shoes are basically mirror images of the original shoes that came out in 1998 where it has the um, 3M reflective material on the quilted um, blue upper. So it's definitely good to have. And basically all of the OGs or all the people that like the original Jordans, they're definitely gonna go for these shoes. So aside from all of those shoes, the much anticipated Jordan Dior ones are still up in the air. The release dates or the raffle dates haven't been confirmed yet. So I'll let you guys know when there's been updates on those. So yeah, that's all the shoes releasing in the month of May. So if you wanna know more about sneakers, streetwear, and reselling, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and to turn on the notifications so you don't miss my next videos. So that's all for today, folks. I'll see you next time.